guys, I know that I don't. Uh, I kept this as a surprise for you. I know, I know I don't prep for the show. I don't. I'm not the one who. That's not a surprise. I, okay. <laughs> I don't prep for the show, but. I did prep for this episode. I brought a special news story that I saw on CNN this morning when I was going over uh, my headlines. I have a, and this is, uh, this is. Is it, is it, if you were sending this in an email to us, would it be re Donald Faison? (laughs) No, there's no Donald Faison connection, but I think it is a story that you will uh, very much enjoy. It is a head that I'm going to tell you the headline and then we are going to see how long we can read details and it remains funny. But. Here is the headline. Are you ready? I guess. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm not sure because okay, I know nothing go. about the scenario that you've... Here is the headline on CNN. Okay. Cake Boss gets lost in layer of fog. <laughs> <laughs> Cake okay. Boss and friends lost in layer of fog. Buddy Cake Boss Valisotro's gastronomical gifts were of little help when his 32-foot Boston whaler got lost in heavy fog in New York (laughs) Harbor. (laughs) People were scared, Cake Boss told CNN, of the harrowing journey Friday night with his wife, another couple. CNN, that's not how you credit a person. I'm sorry. That was my my editorial. That was your attribution. Okay. Uh, I mean, it is easier to say than his last People name. were scared, uh, Cake Boss told CNN of the harrowing journey Friday night with his wife, another couple of nine The frosting children. on the boat started to melt off. I didn't know which way to look. Left? Right? I couldn't even see in front of me. <laughs> That's how fog do. <laughs> and then an angel <laughs> appeared. Fog thing! I can't um, see the city, said Cake Boss, who owned a boat for six years. I'm thinking it's dark. We wound up going People's into this deep, <laughs> deep fog where you couldn't see 10 feet in front of you. We started to get really scared. <laughs> That's how he, he lost his mind on the boat. He left a piece of himself out in the Atlantic, right? And he was just like saying to his friend, he was like, somebody else had to take the wheel from him because he was like one of those captains that loses their mind and just like points their boat to the nearest rock. Like, here's where our souls are going. Um, and he was just rocking back and forth just saying, I can't see my city. Can't I can't see, see my, I can't see my city. <laughs> Okay. Cake, cake boss can't see the city. <laughs> so just, just, to put a, just to put a capper on this, uh, cake boss said a fire department vessel responded about ten minutes after his distress call, followed later by a police boat. I want to bake them a cake, he said. I want to do yeah. something good for them. <laughs> it's all I know. He didn't even realize who I was until the end. <laughs> It was all business. I'm not the kind of guy to say, I'm the cake boss. The cake boss. You have to keep keep me alive before everyone else. <laughs> I'm the cake boss. The cake boss in distress. Mayday. <laughs> <laughs> they found him on a boat. A raft made of the human bodies of his friends that he took he out. He was lashed to the wheel. Right. Oh, Jesus. He said, my wife was flipping. I couldn't pick a worse bunch of people to be... On the boat, stuck in the fog with. Wow. Wow. Nobody kept their head on a swivel. So just to be clear, if Cake Boss is ever in an emergency situation, the people he definitely doesn't want there are his wife and his children. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. So that's our news segment. (laughs) Cake Boss, I was so excited. Can I tell you something? I I I was disappointed when I found out a boat was involved. I, I had envisioned maybe a thick uh, fog right. maybe <laughs> landed on the Lower around. East Side, and he was like, wait, what the, wait, fuck, am I on fourth now, or, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, I can't see my city, <laughs> Cake Boss, Mayday, Cake Boss in distress, 